everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm so excited today to be sat back down at my makeup desk and ready to show you a tutorial or just a get ready with me. So excited I'm like losing my breath. Give me a second. So as you've seen from the title, today is a chatty get ready with me and I'm going to be trying out new products I got for Christmas or showing new products I've got like in the past like December and January. And yeah, I'm just gonna try them out. Some are first time impressions, some I have used before, but let's just get ready together and talk about the new year and the new me. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. back so I have a clean canvas. I've got my iced vanilla latte as usual. Delicious. And now let's jump right into it. If you haven't watched my what I got for a Christmas video you should go watch that and I'll link it below. But if you did watch it you may have seen that I got the Glow Resume Watermelon Dew Drops. So let's try it out today for the first time. This is a serum moisturiser and it can be used for a primer as well. But I'm just going to use it as a moisturiser today as I will be priming as well. But let's have a look. So taking it with two pumps because it says one to two pumps. And then rub it in the skin. It also says pat. Oh, but yeah, it smells like watermelon, obviously. And it feels so good. I love to be hydrated. And who doesn't? Now I'm just going to let that dry down a little bit or like soak into the skin before I put my primer on because I don't want to like mix the products together. But this, mwah, love it. Let's see how it works with makeup though. But from all the videos I've watched, I'm pretty sure it will. For this Christmas, I used the Glossy Box Advent Calendar, if you didn't see. And I got a few makeup products in there. And I have been using them since I got them. But I thought I'd include this in this video as this is kind of like what I got for Christmas makeup and like guess it counts as christmas as it was in an advent calendar in the calendar i got this works and this is like a moisturizer and primer in one so now the dew drops have kind of like settled in i supply some of this as moisturizer slash primer i have used this before as you may have seen it in my other video it's pretty good i do like it a lot but let's see how it works with the dew drops so look, it's quite tacky and really moisturising, which is perfect. As you know, it's winter and we, our skin, needs all the help it can get. So first, I'm actually going to go on with the brows today as I got a new like brow lamination product. And I want to use that as I make, might make a mess and might need to clean it up. So I don't want to do my base makeup that my brows and then ruin it all. Again, this is a product from the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. And this is the Gosh Brow Lift. So if you pull it off, you've got like the brush on the top and then if you twist it, you have the product. I think it's kind of like a refi kind of product. So let's do this. So I'm just going to run it through my brows first. And you can like have your fluffy brows slash like laminated brows with this. But honestly, I don't like that style of brow or I'm still like practicing and getting used to it and trying to find the best shape for me. So I'm just going to kind of brush them in place where I like my brow hairs to be, which is like that. Now using the other side of the brush, I'm just gonna like put brush them down and kind of stick them to make sure they stay in place now that the product's in there. I am gonna like just roll my finger on top just to make sure they are like super stuck down to my face and therefore they will stay in place all day and then i am going to take a q-tip and like run it around the brow just to make sure i don't have any of that sticky goop gonna mess up my face so those are the brows stuck down let's move into like fill in the middle now again this is another product i got from the glossy box advent calendar and this is the refi brow pencil so on one end you have the pencil the other you have a spoolie so today i'm just going to use this to draw in some like fake hairs into my brow basically just thicken them up making them a lot darker as you know if you watch my videos i do like thick dark brows not like massively thick like 2016 brows but i do kind of prefer them on me as i usually use like brow pomade to like fill them in but this a pencil is working nicely it's actually a really good color for me and i'm quite lucky because imagine 
getting this pencil in your advent calendar and then it's not even your colour because when I got the calendar you can even pick your shade. And there you are, they're all filled in now. They're a bit more natural and light than what I usually do. But I quite like them but I want to do the rest of the makeup before I can like really decide what I think of them. So next I'm going to do foundation and concealer off camera as I didn't get anything. But if you was wondering what I was going to use, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty foundation and the concealer. These are both in the shade 140C. There's both foundation and concealer done and before it all creases let's get on with the next cream products next i'm going in with the iconic london contour duo so i've never used this one before and again this one is also from the glossy box advent calendar oops didn't mean to do that so this product is also from the glossy box advent calendar and if you open it up three sections so you have cream contour powder contour and then a mirror so let's start off with that cream contour so i'm just gonna use my finger to apply it and then i'm gonna blend it out with the same brush i've been using so just apply it a little bit like so and then tap it out so i'm normally bronze a lot more or bronze tour as i like to say as i haven't got any contouring shades at the moment as contouring cool tone and then bronzing warm tone if you didn't know but that product blends out super easily but um, like is it pigmented i mean yeah it's made some difference but i will apply some more that is a lot let's apply a bit more here and a bit to my forehead just to make and draw a line there you go now let's blend that all out again just tapping it in the skin but it really does melt in like with these products i do like the way it's blending out so much and this also makes me want to get more products which I can contour with instead of just bronzing all the time. As I'm blending this out, I just kind of wanted to talk about like New Year's resolutions. Do you guys have any? If you do, let me know in the comments. But for me, I struggled a bit with them this year. I kind of want to say I'm going to continue with things. Like I want to continue going to the gym. I want to continue eating healthily. Healthy? Healthy? You know what I mean? But a really random one. I do want to learn how to shuffle. So hopefully I can spend some time doing that. Let me know if you have any like crazy ones. Like ones that aren't normal. Like losing weight, eating healthy, stop drinking. Let me know if you have anything like you want to learn. I'd love to know. So the other side does have a powder to like kind of set it. But first I'm going to use my last cream product. And then I'll apply the powder. As I don't want them mixing and then making my face look muddy and like patchy. Because for my skin type like mixing powder and creams isn't the best at all so let's carry on and the next cream product is blush so i do have two products i can use i've got the glossier blush in the shade spark or i have the benny tin in the shade rose i think but i'm gonna use this one as i can use this one for lips so let's get it out and what i'm gonna do with this one is i'm gonna put some on the back of my hand i'm a bit nervous about this product as i am not really a red kind of blush person i like peaches and like pale pinks but i'll apply a little bit and see how it works and i'm going to be taking an angled blush brush so i'm going to pick some up and i'm going to tap it off it seems really like serum-y so I've got some on the brush oh that's a lot let's space it out <laughs> now let's blend that in Going to swap blush brushes because I got way too much product on that brush. And there you go, I'm just tapping it in with the brush I used for my foundation and the contouring. And what do I think? I think the product's really nice, like it's blending out really good. Like, look, it's not like separating anything, it's really smooth. It does bring life back to my cheeks, but like I said, the colour isn't really for me. But I think applying this much is fine. Uh, I have a lot on my hand, which I need to take off. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to set this. I didn't get any setting powder that I can use or any new ones. So again, I'm going to do this off camera. But if you did want to know, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And now it's all set. So we can go back into the Iconic London palette, like duo. And use this powder on top of the original contour. So I'm also going to take this Spectrum brush. This is the mini BO5 one. I also did get this in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. So I've picked up some of the product. Tap it off. I'm just going to lightly 
go over where I applied it. And then the same on this side. But yeah, I think that brush is a bit too small. So I am going to take this Morphe M405 and I'm just going to dust over the top to like blend it out. I do like this product a lot actually. I think this is one of the favourite ones. I will be reaching for this a lot. And I can't believe this hasn't gone viral. To have a two-in-one, like a cream product and a setting product, that's really nice. And cream products are so in right now. I do love this and I will be using it a lot. So I have just contoured and now I also want to add some bronzer as I have a new bronzer. And I have finally, finally got the Benefit Hula Bronzer. So this was actually a present to myself. I went to like Bista Village and they had a cute little pack and I wanted to get this. So... If you know, you know, you have your little cute brush, which I won't be using. And then here is the gorgeous bronzer, super matte and not too bronzy, I don't think. Like it's not really warm, it's like, like an orangey, which sometimes I struggle with bronzers. So I'm going to pick that up on the same brush I was just using. And for bronzer, I'm just going to bronze where I usually would. Forehead, those cheeks and that drawline and then i think i'll also use this in the crease just to give me some color as i haven't got any eyeshadow that i want to use today and i just kind of want to make an everyday look with the new products i got but oh this is stunning it's so creamy and it blends so beautifully i've wanted this product for so long i'm so glad i got my hands on it have you guys got any new products that you like if you do let me know in the comments as I'm a shopaholic and I love spending money, especially on makeup. Now, picking up some of the bronzer on a little fluffy brush. Well, big fluffy brush. This one's from Doll Beauty. I'm just going to run it in that crease. And as you can see, I put some makeup on there earlier. I have a concealer or foundation and it just creases up. Which is why I always put some like powder in the crease afterwards. So it kind of sets the eyelid, whatever I've put on there. Super gorgeous. And I also just love putting a bronzer in the crease if I'm doing an everyday look. So it just brightens your eyes up and makes you look more awake. So it's really simple and really quick to do. And it's like, I don't know, it's so good and it's so quick. Do you know what I mean? Like, the effort's little, but the payoff's huge. Don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with this base. Like, if I lean forward, look how good it looks. And it feels so amazing on my skin. Like, those base products must have really helped those dew drops. It doesn't feel dry and it feels perfect. I don't know, I just feel so comfortable in it and it makes me happy. So next, let's move on to lashes. Then we have lips, then we have to set it all and then we're done. Can't believe how quick this was. These products, love them. They might be my staples for 2023. Or is it too soon to tell? Okay, what did I say we're doing? Lashes. So first I am gonna curl them. I didn't get a new curler. This is just the Dot Beauty curler, which I use all the time. Now it's time for mascara and I am going to be using this Milk Rise Mascara. This is a mini version if you can't tell. So that means, yes, I did get it out of the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. But it's quite a thick brush, which looks like it's going to like be quite voluminous. I haven't used it yet, so let's see how it works. Oh, look at that. Look at the difference in my lashes. That's just one coat. This stuff, it's beautiful. I hate it when they do this. I get an advent calendar with like many products. So the company obviously hasn't bought the most expensive ones. And then I get hooked. So therefore I have to buy more products. What is life? And I think it's so funny because I know what they're doing. I know what the company is doing. But I fall for it every time. Because I'm like, yay, an advent calendar. I get presents every day. And then I'm like, oh, I love so many of them. I have to spend all my money. Don't be like me. <laughs> Okay, so mascara is on. I also have some new lashes I want to try, but I'm not so sure on them. So let's test them together. So I got some Land of the Lashes, I have fake eyelashes. These are the Style 12. They're like faux mink lashes. I never tried them. Never even tried this kind of style. I'm more of like a fluffy lash, but let's see what they look like on. So I've just pulled them off and they look very long. So we'll have to trim them first. So now they're all trimmed, I'm just gonna stick them down and I'm just gonna use some Kish lash glue I've got. And then I'll be back and then you can judge how they look. And now the lashes are stuck on. I honestly don't know what to think of them. I thought I would hate them, but I don't mind them. I think they look okay. I don't know, I don't know. Do I like them, do I not? 
it's so hard to decide. I guess it's something new, so I've never tried it, but I think I like them. I do like them. The only problem is they are oh, such a nightmare to stick on because the way the lashes are so like thick and up, it's really hard to see that lash band and like stick it in the right place. But I don't know. I think I will try them out a few times with different makeup looks to decide if I do like them. Let me know in the comments if you like the lashes and if they suit me. We have two last steps of this makeup look and first is lips and as you saw earlier I have the Benny tint from Benefit and this is in the shade Rose so let's try this out. So this actually came in this set with the Hoola bronzer which was super good and such a bargain I ended up saving quite a lot of money like I think almost almost 20 pounds. So you may have seen this product it's like super viral or it was a while back and I just really wanted to get my hands on it so of course I bought it. But basically it's a tint you apply it if you apply a little bit you get a subtle tint you apply more you get a deep tint so I've just applied it super liquidly it's like a dye I guess so I just let that dry down so then we can see the full look but I already know I love this because as soon as I got it I opened it and I also like it quite subtle so I just apply a little bit and I think it looks really nice. Lastly, let's set this entire makeup in place. And I'm going to go in with a Beauty Grop Glow Milk Setting Spray. You may say, Lydia, there's barely any left. How is this new? Yeah, I got it in the glossy box I've been coming around. I've loved it since. Mm, see? Oh, the spray is just really good. It smells so fresh and floral, and it does make your makeup last longer. I don't know how, it just does. It's magic. And then here is the finished look. Let me know what you think of this look in the comments. And also let me know what videos you would like to see from me this year. Before I go, remember to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel to see more makeup and makeup challenges and some cool vlogs. I kind of post whatever I'm feeling, you know? So come and join the family. Lastly, I just wanted to say a massive thank you. I've actually reached 100 subscribers which is amazing to me because I've been on this less than a year and I'm so grateful for all of you so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video next week bye guys